So, we first talked about sequence as a series, right? Yes. 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 All right. So then, we have arithmetic and geometric. Okay. Now, let's go with the arithmetic because, ladies and gentlemen, you have to know these when we're going to go back to it. We have to know them very quickly because, you, as you guys understand, when we're dealing with the arithmetic sequence, we have to be able to go back and forth and understand these two formulas very, very well and do them very, very quickly. So let's go through the nth term, right? So if you guys have the nth term for our sequence, then we simply just have a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, right? If we're going to look at a partial sum, right? We have s of n equals n divided by 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. Yes? OK. So now what I'm going to do is introduce to you now the formulas for our geometric. Now, one last thing, ladies and gentlemen, is just to remember, when we, did, um, when we were doing arithmetic with uh, infinite sums, right? Remember when we kept on adding like our fractions, they actually they went down to you know, repeating, repeating decimals that we were able to convert to our fractions right? to find the sum. So our sum kind of converged onto a fraction or a repeating decimal that we used. All right? That's going to be a little bit different, though, with geometric. Because all we were doing when we were finding an infinite sum is we just kept on adding like a decimal point. We just kept on adding a decimal point. So it converged onto a fraction. So it's geometric. All right? It's the exact same kind of parallels. We have a formula for the nth term. The formula for the nth term is a of n equals a sub 1 times your r times the n minus 1. So now in this case, if you remember over here, we had d, which is our difference. Now we have r, which is going to determine our ratio. right? So it's either we have to be given our ratio, or now we're going to have to be able to define what the ratio is. All right? Got it? OK. Then we look at partial sum. All right, so let's say I want to say, what is the partial sum of your geometric sequence? So we're going to have a little bit different formula here. We're going to have a sub 1 times um, 1 minus r to the n divided by 1 minus r. So again, we're going to have to make sure we know what r is. We're going to have to know our a sub 1 and our n. a sub 1. My little cheat sheet. Are you serious? It's a sub 1. I don't know why I wrote that over there. It's just like the other sum formula. Your n gets written back up here. Whatever your n is, that your partial sum is getting written up there. However, there is one last sum that we have to, because we have a sum for finite. But now we're also, this is for finite, meaning, hey, only find the sum of the geometric sequence for 10 terms. Only find the sum of the geometric sequence for two terms. That's a finite sum. We also have a sum for an infinite. Okay, Sum for infinite is just going to be s equals a sub 1 over 1 minus r. Okay. And those, ladies and gentlemen, are going to be our formulas that we're going to apply for this new thing. So they're very similar to what we've used already at the arithmetic, um, but now these are going to be what we're going to apply. Okay. All right.